because I always warp back to Firelink Shrine, even if I don't have a reason to. Okay. So I'm kind of stuck with this dragon head for right now, so I guess I'll... I'll put on some normal pants or something. The night leggings. Uh, that gives me a medium roll. Night leggings. That gives me fast roll. Okay, good. Maybe 63. I wonder what my normal poise is. How much does the helm give? Gives 8 poise. So technically I'm... I'm rocking more poise this way. So that's kind of cool. But I don't like to give up the dragon helm. It's a pretty good item. Where was... Oh yeah, well... Let's see. I'm gonna go to Andre for a moment because I want to upgrade my pants if I'm gonna have to wear them. You know. Also need to upgrade my outfit some more. I don't have any Titanite shards like normal ones, so that's why I'm going back to Andre so I can buy them. And then I'm going to go to the Painter World and do the last thing i got to do there. Something I can't believe I didn't do earlier. And it would have really helped out in the Seath boss fight. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And I beat Seath. Actually, like, that is one of the only bosses I've beaten one try in this entire playthrough. And the, the footage is ruined. haven't beaten many bosses in one try, which is sad because there are some of the bo some bosses I should have beaten in one try, like Iron Golem should have seriously only been one try. See, I beat Gaping, Gaping Dragon in one try, which was good because Gaping Dragon is a boss that you should only need one try to beat. Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot I had a an ember I still haven't given up yet. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, Titanite shards. Six of those. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna do the night leggings. I may upgrade it past that. I haven't decided yet. Right now, though, I definitely want to try to upgrade my Lord's Blades robes some more. Well, I have tons of Twinkling Titanite, I didn't even know. That's great. Let me upgrade the gloves some, too. Okay, awesome. Can also upgrade some of this other Twinkling stuff. How much do those? Ooh, those weigh five and a half, but now I have nine boys. Hmm. Six and a half, eleven boys. Uh, no, because I get more. I could probably get more out of the night leggings. the night stuff a little bit more. And, well, I'm not using this chunks, so I'll put a couple of chunks to it. Don't think anything needs repaired. Oh yeah, my crest shield. I completely forgot about it. Let me see if I can. I don't think I have enough for it. Yeah, I need another Twinkling Titanite. Give me 69 stability, which would be pretty good. 
Did I just say 69? I meant 61. <laughs> 61 stability. Up from 59. Those great shields take a ton of strength to wield properly. A ton of strength that I don't have at the moment. I'm probably not going to have either because I'm very dedicated to to doing the uh, quality stat build with the faith added onto it. stuck with the dragon head. Let me at least put the dragon head stone in my quick slots so I can use it if I want to. And that actually burns through my stamina and not like any type of any type of like spell or anything. This look is actually kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like it. I may, I may actually stick with it. I think I came through here earlier with the uh, halberd, didn't I? Oh wow, that actually attacked far less of them than I thought it would. So many spears and leather shields, I'm guessing. Well, just two. Spear and a leather shield. Ah, uh, okay. I went the wrong way. Sort of. I went the wrong way. I can still... Sorry, I'm just trying to remember if there was an alternate path. I think there was. Maybe not. Because that goes down into the um, the well, and that just goes around to a side path. Okay, yeah, I gotta go up the stairs on the side. Oh well, at least I got some souls from those guys. Once you get the covetous silver dragon ring or whatever it is that allows you to uh, get some serious souls from the uh, phalanx in the middle I think most people call them the phalanx just because of their resemblance to the first boss from demon souls first normal boss shit can't believe I actually took toxic effect there That's something I'm gonna have to put on my hotbar, I guess. And I still have cracked red orbs for no reason on my hotbar. For no reason. Oh yeah, I forgot he was in there. Oh yeah, those guys that come over the edge. Just gonna stand out here and heal. And get toxic. That happens. And get toxic again. I'm playing pretty fast and loose right now. <laughs> that was that was a terrible idea. Okay. Really? I didn't think that would be close enough to get toxic. Well maybe I did think it was close enough. I just didn't think that I would lunge so far. He's not going to follow up. Okay. Let's do this.
You do not want to fight this guy, like, down there, though, for sure. Now, I find this guy to be considerably easier than the, uh, the one in the uh, Valley of the Drakes. I say that, but I think I need to get around to this side, actually. doesn't hit right there, that's right. That stuff moves so weirdly. Anyway, I can just kind of hop back over to the other side. He'll still have like an attack on that side. For whatever reason. And then I can hop back on this side. And he'll be attacking the middle, whatever. And I'm gonna hop back on this side. You get the idea. Hit his claws a couple of times. And then get straight up like toxic. -ed. Spit down the middle. And. Does that not finish him? I thought that was going to finish him. Oh shit. I th I, that was a little bit scary. I actually thought that he was closer to death than he was. Blood shield. And just one little thing I want to show off here. Whoa, <laughs> I almost did that wrong. Yeah, if you do a jumping attack to that, you can drop down right here in front of the boss door. I'm just going to homework bone that. And hey, we're back in the Undead Parish. Can I level up once? Right, 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 right. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Taking out most of the optional stuff at this point. And I've upgraded a lot of stuff. Let's, let's go to the Chamber of the Princess. We're going to pop a lot of souls and uh, get some more Twinkling Titanite. These elevators are such trolls. You warp into the bonfire and the elevator's up and ready and then you run over to it and as you get close to it, it just drops. And that's pretty consistent. I've noticed that in like every playthrough. So I'm pretty sure that's intentional. I'm not sure why it's intentional, but that it is. Okay, I was a little bit surprised to, that he was actually hitting me on the stairs. That dude never seems to hit on the stairs. Okay, he didn't drop anything. That's a shame.
pretty much going to focus on just upgrading my shield right now. This is a pretty decent shield. It's not like Balder shield quality, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Oh yeah, and I have this Ember to give him to. So he can make uh, crystal weapons now. Let's see what um, I can make here. So I can make the Dark Moon Catalyst, like I said. I can turn my Claymore into the Abyss Greatsword. That's not a good idea. Um, you can see I can make those crystals and stuff. Okay. What I want to do, though, is I want to buy some Twinkling Titanite from him. And reinforce my Crest Shield. Wonderful. Once we get it to plus five, it'll have 66. Let me pop some souls and see if I can't get four. I hope I can get four. Uh, actually, that's probably not going to happen. Nope, that's right. I can use this, which is pointless otherwise. So I've got a lot of souls that I can use here. Which is good. Don't ever use the um, the other boss souls. They're all pretty much duds when it comes to um, to actually giving you souls. so long. Okay, that's not quite enough to get four, unfortunately. Nothing else I can really do either. But I can get three, at least. And I'm only 4,000 off from getting another one. And I can probably get that from just killing some of these guys. Huh. I was hoping that would one-shot him. Two-handed would probably one-shot him. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but if you hit that guy in the head, he won't fall off. So it actually pays to aim for the torso. Hmm. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Don't you do it. Alright, that's 1500. Here's another 1500. We've already hit our goal, but let's get another 3,000 just for good measure. I just kind of derped it right then. trying to do now. There's a lingering hitbox on the shield slam. If you notice that took a little bit of damage. Which is really strange, but that's how it works. Let's get that last Twinkling Titanite and finish upgrading the Crest Shield. I really am digging this look now for my guy. Okay. Alright.
right. Just enough, basically. A little bit more than enough, but essentially just enough. Now, hmm. That might about wrap us up, unfortunately. Because there's nothing else I can do that would take just a, a few minutes to do. at my warp options and I'll figure out okay I really wish I could um... well you know that's something I could try to do well, hold on, my level might be pretty high for that. 71. Well, might be able to get some action at, um, at Duke's. Yeah, um, I'm just going to end it right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time. Take care.